Wait for me to check. <laughs> I think we got that in camera. <laughs> <laughs> So today we are going to go and visit a guy called Ted McIntyre who uh, takes the turbines out of these and puts them in these. Yeah, so at the end of this video you're going to get to see Noah riding in one of the world's only jet powered trucks, yeah? Turbine powered. Turbine powered truck. So hopefully you learned something and enjoy the video and please like and subscribe for us. <laughs> My real job is we take turbine engines and we put them in uh, non-traditional turbine applications like a motorcycle with a turbine and or a boat with a turbine and uh, a Mini Cooper with a turbine. So turbines are normally found in aircraft like helicopters and jets and you know big ships and all. So we take uh, engines that were normally applied for aircraft and we put them in something different. And as I said, a motorcycle is an example. So essentially you have the transmission located in here, which is the two planetaries, and then it does a right angle. So it actually drives a chain. This is our electronics on it. It's got what they call a GCU, a generator control unit. And uh, as I said, we build oil in the frame for the transmission as well as the engine. What's unique about a turbine and the ones that we use, they're what we call free turbines. They're a jet engine blowing against a wheel. And that wheel's supposed to turn it just like a windmill. You know, so it's called a gas turbine, not because it burns gasoline or natural gas. It uses expanding gas to drive it. So when you light fuel and air, there's an explosion and that air expands. And what happens is, is that it's directed against wheels and it gets turning just like a big windmill. So a water turbine, you know, takes water, steam turbine uses steam, but in our case a gas turbine is expanding gas. So let's talk about this. A turbine works differently from an engine. It takes huge volumes of air, compresses it and combines it with fuel to give a massive amount of power in a very small space. Turbines are what make fighter jets fly faster than the speed of sound and Ted straps these things to bikes absolutely crazy. Let's build a car with this in it. What car would it be? This is actually the rear end out of a Formula One car, probably 2015 era. So what they want to do in lieu of having the V8 Formula One engine, they want to put this turbine. This turbine is a little over 700 horsepower, but unlike your Formula One car that turns maybe 17, 18,000 RPM and has a seven speed gearbox, this engine has a 6,000 RPM output and makes probably 1,200 foot-pounds of torque. So we're putting a three-speed gearbox in it, and ultimately we're going to have to go with a bigger differential that can take the torque. But this was sent to us from England so that we could physically get the size and the, uh, the layout so that we could build a rear drive section. So carbon fiber, whole thing. Ooh, well light. Mass. <laughs> Noah. Do you know what torque means? No. Ted's company MTT don't just put the bikes together, they physically build most of the components and 3D print most of the body shells. And they don't just do bikes, this turbine for example has more pulling force than if you strap 50 cars to something and ran them all at full speed. Ted puts that on an airboat. So this is Gen 1, this was in the movie Torque. So if you like to sit on that and get on. <laughs> right, so that's got, so look, it's got a TV, and, or is it, what did you say, it's the mirrors or camera? Yeah. Oh! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> so climb aboard. Ooh, yay. It's hard. It's too tall for me. Put your feet on the foot pegs, it makes it easy. Ah, there you go. <laughs> so if we, if we were to start it, you push this start button and it would go. <laughs> the airplane's different from a motorbike, isn't it? That's the turbine spinning up Noah. <laughs> so I've actually ridden that bike 205 miles an hour. Wow. 205 <laughs> miles an hour. You should, I'm honestly saying you should get a speeding ticket for that. <laughs> 
So yeah, we had a really fun day today, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And I, we really just want to say thanks a lot to Ted and MTT Turbines for letting us come and stuff. And today, well, not today, but I'm going to get some warheads, okay? And I will eat five warheads at the same time if y'all leave a hundred likes, okay? So we need a hundred likes for this video and subscribes. And in the next video, you're going to get to see Noah absolutely dying, eating five warheads at the same time. I'm honest with you, I hate those. <laughs> it's going to be very, very funny. But uh, again, we'd just like to say thank you. And please check out MTT Turbine. We'll leave the, uh, the website for them just in the, the bottom of this video. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this next bit where we show Noah on a turbine truck. Okay, yeah. so see you next time. Bye.